All right, thanks for everyone for being here. Um, just to give you an idea of what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to talk about a myth that's been going around this world for a very long time. It is actually easier to be healthy than it is to be addicted. Now, this might come as a surprise to some, and let me explain my thinking on this. Here's what I hear all the time from, it doesn't mean just in my office, but I just hear it from people. When they hear an idea that they can do something, they go, oh, that is so hard. Oh, that's just challenging. Man, that is really tough. I don't know if I can do that. So I'll give them a, an assignment such as, um, have one five-minute conversation with your spouse, your friend, or your child, and don't offer a single unsolicited opinion. And they'll look at me and they go, oh. No, I can't do that. So let me, let's walk you through this for just a second, all right? If you are living a healthy life, that means you're growing, you're getting stronger, you're figuring out processes, you're able to communicate effectively with those you care about, your work is doing well, and someone like me or an associate or a therapist or any other coach is not on the horizon unless you want to go from good to better to best. But if you're living in a state of addiction where things are falling apart around you, okay, let me just explain what's going on. So let's say I'm having a rough time with my spouse for whatever reason. She says something to me that would trigger me. Now she's got a vapor around her. That vapor comes off in a color of my choice, depending if it's good, bad, or indifferent, right? If it's a good vapor, if it's a really good thing she said, it's multicolor, it's got lavender scent to it. Everything about it is so neat. But what if I think or perceive that it's not good, that it's bad or it's, it's mean, that what she said to me? So that vapor is now going to be dark. It's going to have a horrible aroma. And I'm going to go like this. Yes. <laughs> Give me my drugs. Because what will happen in that moment is I will give permission for her to have my happiness. I'm going to take a lease agreement. May I borrow your lease agreement? Thank you very much. And I'm going to say, to my dear wife, Sherry, for the next one hour, I lease to you my happiness, about 50%, because I can't control myself. I'm addicted to getting angry when you do that. It is far healthier, far easier, I mean, to live a healthy life than it is to live a non-healthy life. Because here's what happens. As I keep breathing in that vapor, I'm going to collect it inside, aren't I? Where's it going? I become a reservoir for that, that energy that I'm breathing in, and it has to go somewhere. So I'm going to store it, and it'll keep building up. And I'm going to start feeling joint pain, muscle pain, aches. I'm going to start collecting it until the point I'm starting to visit a doctor on a regular basis for what the doctor deems as a chronic illness. No causation, no known cure, just treatment. And how will I treat you? You know, we can do surgery for that attitude. <laughs> and so pretty soon, I'm just paying the doctor like an annuity for my chronic illnesses that now we know, based upon new research coming out in neuroscience, there's direct correlation and now causation to cancer. Mm 